Hello everyone and welcome to Monday. Have a lovely day everybody and let's start it with our wonderful 30 minutes of Pilates. Today we're doing advanced mobility so this is going to be a mix of standing and mat work. I'm going to give you lots of options so if anything's too advanced there'll be options to take it down a level or take it up a level if you want. All right so let's begin. So come and stand on your mat. Let's just start with a moment of calm, just to get ourselves into the place we wanna be for our practice. So draw your abdominals in. Think of a nice long line through that spine. Relax your arms down by your side. Let's take a breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth, take the chin to the chest, Pull your abdominals in and start to roll forward, just down through the spine, nice and easy. Inhale, exhale, pull your abdominals in and slowly coming all the way back up. And again, deep breath in, exhale, chin to the chest, soften your knees. Pull your abdominals in, flexing forward, inhale, exhale, draw the abdominals in once again, and come back up, last one, deep breath in, exhale, chin to the chest, then those knees, keep pulling in on your abdominals through your exhale as you roll down, Inhale and exhale, draw the abdominals in and slowly come back up. Let's draw the shoulders down. So you're going to step forward with your right foot back with the left. That back foot slightly turned out. Okay, let's square the hips up and let's just lean forward until you can feel a bit of a stretch in that calf muscle. And then if you feel safe to balance, et cetera, you're going to try and straighten that foot up and see if you can keep that heel down. So we're working through the feet, the Achilles tendon, the calf muscle, the back of the knee. All right, so stretching the lower leg. Okay, now you're just going to lift your heel up now, holding your balance, and we're going to bring the left arm forward, the right arm back. I'm going to challenge your brains as well. You're going to bring both arms up in the air and then reach one forward, one back. So we're doing circles, but we're going in opposite directions, working through the shoulders, the thoracic spine. Good. It is a little bit of a brain exercise, this one. Very good for those of us wanting to improve coordination. Now bring both hands up in the air, bring them together so they're in a prayer position, if you know yoga, and then bend at the elbows, take the elbows out and let the fingertips point down. So really open those elbows, stretching the front of the shoulder. Now you can stay here. Those of you that like a challenge, you're going to start to lower down a little bit more till you feel the stretch in the hip flexor. Those of you that want to work harder, you can lift the right heel up if you want to and find that stretch there. That's it. If it's too much, you can bring your hands down to balance, pull your abdominals in. I just remembered to do that. <laughs> and then from there, you're going to bend that back knee and take yourself down towards the floor. Okay, so those doing the super advanced, you've got your heel up for now. We're just going to hold it here for a stretch for three, two, one. Now bring the front heel down, bring the arms down either side of that foot. And I want you to reach that left foot back a little bit more now. So you can find that nice stretch in the front of that left hip. So both hands are on the floor. Now if that feels too much, you can of course have your knee down. Okay, it's up to you which version you want to do. Once you're there, you're going to put your right hand on your right knee. 
You're going to turn your chest towards the right knee. So we're really starting to move the thoracic spine. And then you're going to reach your hand up to the ceiling. So right hand pointing towards the ceiling, looking up as well if you can. Well done, bring that knee down. So back knee down. I want you to put your right hand on the inside of your right knee. Okay, relax your left foot now. And then just press that right knee out. So you're gonna feel you're going onto the side edge. Some people call it the blade edge of the foot and you're getting a stretch on your inner thigh. Okay. Now bring that foot in, take both hands down and wiggle that right foot across. We're going into the pigeon pose, okay? So hands come forward and the right knee goes out to the side now. Now if you find here is enough for you and you're feeling the stretch, you stay there. If you wanna take it further and you can, you can take yourself as far as your body will allow. It's a deep stretch of the hip. All right, and I want you to keep your body upright. So you can really sink into it, feel that stretch on the outside now of your right hip. Pull your abdominals in, press the mat away, find that stretch. Very good, slowly coming out of that, wiggle that foot back. In okay, case so it's back in line with the right hip. And then you're going to hinge back, keeping the toes, so all those toes down on the ground. And again, finding a stretch now in the front of this foot and ankle. Think of sticking your bottom out so you can feel the stretch in your hamstring as well. Now lift the toes up. That's it, and pull those toes towards you. Now, if you want to, you can hold on and add a bit more stretch of that foot. Try and keep the abdominals pulling in for that little bit of support. Well done, release that foot. Bring your hands forward, tuck the toes under of that back leg. Come on up. Now press into your hands and take that right foot back. So you're in a plank position. Okay, push the floor away. And now you're gonna slide that right foot in. You're gonna slide it back and lift it up to wherever it will go. Okay, you don't have to go all the way up. You're just going as far as you can. And then come back down. Let's try that again. So slide it in, slide it back. Lift it up to wherever you can. Chest moving towards that leg. One more time, coming down. Slide it in, slide it out, lift it up. All with control, pushing away. Now see if you can lower that left heel, lift that right leg. Well done. Placing the foot down, you're in your plank position. Now draw the tummy muscles in, lift up into your up stretch. Lower both your heels. Find that stretch through the body and then walk your hands back to your feet. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, draw the abdominals in and slowly come up through the spine. Okay, let's do all that on the other side. So left foot forward, right foot back. Okay, align your hips, shoulders relaxed. And let's start by just finding a little stretch. So you can have the foot turned out. But if you want to challenge your stretch, your flexibility a little more, turn the foot in and try and get that heel down. Now pull in here on those abdominals, okay. Let's see if we can go a little deeper so you can creep that left foot forward. All right. 
Now lift your right heel up, go a little deeper still. All right, so here we go with the arms. So right arm forward, left arm back, and then both up in the air. Left arm forward, right arm back. Good, and continue. Circling those arms in opposite directions. Good. Two. One. Well done. Hold both arms up. Bring them into a prayer. Bend at the elbows. Open your elbows and bring your hands down so those fingertips are pointing down. They're behind you. Now keep your upper body, particularly your neck and upper spine, nice and upright, extended almost. Okay, now you can hold it here. Those of you that like the challenge, you're going to bend your right knee and stay there. Or you can add even more of a challenge and lift your left heel, pulling your abdominals in. Good. And then you're going to slowly take your knee down towards the floor. If you need to put your hands down, then put your hands down. You should find you're in a really deep stretch of your right hip flexor, right thigh. Holding that stretch. One more breath. Well done. Good. Let's release everything. Bring those hands down. Okay, let's bring this heel down. Reach that right leg back. Lift up and find the stretch in the front of the hip once again. If this is too much, you can have that knee down on the floor. Okay, from there, you're going to bring your left hand up onto your left knee. You're going to use that hand to help you rotate your spine. That's it. Turn to look up and then release that arm. Fingertips to the ceiling, shoulder down, opening up the front of the body, stretching the front of that shoulder. Well done. Bringing that hand down, bringing that knee down. And then you're going to gently release that foot and walk back with those hands. Keeping those toes down. Now think of trying to lengthen your spine. So we're trying to have a straight line from the crown of the head down out through the tailbone. These toes are on the floor. You're stretching the front of this foot and ankle. Okay, you're also stretching the back of the leg. I can really feel this around the back of my knee. I don't know about you. Okay, holding it there. Now lifting those toes up. Let's increase that calf stretch a little more. Keep pulling in on the abdominals. So we are using our core all the way through. That's it, well done. And we're gonna come forward. And we're going to hold it here. And what we're going to do is bring this hand onto the inside of the knee. Okay, and we're going to gently push that knee out, going over onto the side edge of the foot. So you can really feel, hopefully feel, a stretch on your inner thigh, maybe a little bit on the outer thigh as well. Good. And then we're going to bring our hands down, wiggle that foot across, I'm going into the pigeon pose. So hands go forward, knee goes out to the side, and you're aiming to feel something, a stretch in that left hip. Just take it to whatever feels okay for you. But let's try and keep the body upright. So hands are on the mat, and we're pressing that mat away. So we've got that nice extension in the body. Well done. Let's tuck the toes under of that back leg. And we're going to come up and find our plank 
position. Okay, so give yourself a moment to adjust. All right, again, pressing that floor away, pulling the tummy muscles in. We're going to slide the left leg in, slide it back, then we're going to lift it up. You can lift to whatever level you want. All right, you can try and lift all the way up or just to where you feel you can balance. So you can see I'm wobbling, that's normal, and then you're going to come back down. Slide it in, slide it out, lifting up, 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 nice stretch, one more, bring it down, slide it in, slide it back, lift it up, and stretch, 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 well done, come back to your plank position, tuck the toes under, and then you lift your hips up to the ceiling, separate your feet a little, lower your heels, and let's just see if we can get into a little bit deeper stretch of the shoulders here, the upper body. Good. And this time you're going to come back to your plank position, bring your legs in, cross your ankles, and then you're going to come and sit over those ankles. So you're going to have your feet out in front. And today I want the bottom of your feet together, knees apart. All right, I'm just going to do it on a slight angle for you. Hopefully that will help you see a little better. So sitting up nice and tall. Okay, and you're going to have your arms out in front. Shoulders down, take a breath in. Breathe out, draw the abdominals in. You're just going to do a half roll back. So we're coming back to here, taking an inhale, exhale, Coming forward, I want you to reach over your feet, lift up, open the arms as far as you can, stretch and come back. Deep breath in, exhale, drawing under. Inhale, exhale, coming up and over. Lifting up, open the arms and close, deep breath in, exhale, pull the tummy muscles in, coming back, inhale, exhale, coming up, and over, lift, open, and close, we've got two to go, deep breath in, exhale, so really actively pull that abdominal wall in, inhale, exhale, coming up and over, Lift, open, and close one last time. Deep breath in, exhale, coming back. Inhale, exhale, up and over. Lift, open, and close. Well done. So from there, I want you to bring your knees up. Take a breath in. Exhale, pull the abdominals in and come all the way down to the floor. Pull the feet in. Take your hands down. Let's take a deep breath in. Pelvic curl. You're going to tilt the pelvis and you're going to peel your spine up off the floor. Pushing up. Inhale there. Exhale, soften through the chest and come all the way back down, deep breath in, exhaling to tilt, and roll the spine up, inhale, and exhale, slowly coming down, again, deep breath in, exhaling to tilt, and roll the spine up, Inhale, exhale, coming down, one more deep breath in, exhaling to tilt, and roll the spine up, inhale, and exhale, coming all the way back down. Now we're going to go up one more time. So we're going to take a breath in, exhale, tilting and going up. 
Now I want you to bend your hands at the elbow and get your hands under your pelvis. So the back of your pelvis. Okay, you might need to do a little bit of wiggling as you can see I am. And the idea is that you are gonna support your pelvis. So this is a way you can do your bridging exercise. And now you're gonna lift your right leg up, pointing the toe towards the ceiling. You're going to inhale to lower. You're gonna exhale, lift and flex. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and flex. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Bend that leg, take it down, bring the other leg up. Here we go. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. One more. Lower and lift. Bend that leg. Take it down. Now push up through the bottom. Take your hands down. Take a breath in. Exhale slowly, coming down through your spine. Once it's down, take your hands out to the side. Keep your feet apart and just let your knees go over to the right. That feels good, doesn't it? And then bring it up over to your left and up. So you're just going to keep moving side to side. This is more just to ease that back after just what we've done. That's it, once more each side. And up, and over, and up. Now we're gonna bring our legs into a tabletop position. And what I want you to do is put your hands uh, up, interlace your fingers, take your hands behind your head. Okay, lower the feet so they are in line with your knees, okay? And then I want you to open the knees out and bring them back. Open them out and bring them back. So working the hip out and back. Out and back. Out and back. One more. Out and back. Now open those knees up and let's pull the tummy in and lift the head and chest as well. Any discomfort in your neck? you can put that head down. Try and keep those elbows open. And now we're gonna reach forward with the legs and come back. Then we're gonna open from the knee and close. So keeping that diamond shape of the legs, you're gonna go forward, back to your diamond, then just open from the knees and back. Forward, bend. Open and stretch, return. Forward, bend, open, return. Now take a moment, let's lift those chests up a little more. Forward, bend, open, and forward, bend, and open. Well done, bring that head and chest down. Bring the hands down, take the arms out to the side. And let's take the left leg down to the floor, reach it out. So it's slightly turned out today. Then bring your right leg up, slightly turned out. Okay, and we do little circles, little circles going out for one, two, three, four, five. Everything is turned out. Imagine you're a ballerina going in for one. Two, three, four, five. So we're gonna bend that leg, then the other leg, bring up into the diamond, and then switch. So one leg goes down, we extend it in the turned out position. Other leg, you can keep it bent, or you can straighten it, but keep it turned out. We're gonna go in for one, two, three, four, Five, other way, four, one, two, three, four, five, bend that leg, bend your bottom leg, come up into your diamond shape, well done, bring your hands together, interlace those fingers, 
hands behind your head, take a breath in, exhale, bring that head and chest up. Now we're going to lower one leg at a time in that turned out position. So right leg down and bring it up, left leg down and bring it up, right leg down and tap and left and tap, right and tap and left and tap, right and tap and left and tap, last two. Bring those knees together, hug them into your chest. Well done, and pull them all the way in so you can feel your tailbone lifting off the floor. And release, again. And release, one more. And release, let's place the feet down, roll onto your side. Let's have the bottom arm out. And we're going to have the hand underneath our head. So propping ourselves up. If that's not nice for your neck, you don't like that, you can do it this way, lying the head down. Okay. And then from there, we'll have the feet slightly forward. We're going to bring this top leg up. And we're going to take it forward as far as you can. Lift it up. Reach it behind you without arching your back. So you've got to pull up here and bring it in. So we're going to go forward, up, and back. Forward, up, and back. Forward, up, and back. One more. Forward, up, and back. Well done. Bending those knees, coming up. Take the arms out. You're going to take hold of this leg, and we're going to go over into a lovely, lovely, lovely stretch. Turning to look up towards that elbow. Well done. Coming out, taking the arm down. That's it. And then from here, we're going to turn around without rounding our spine. Bring both hands onto the mats. You need to do a slight adjustment. Pressing down into those hands and try and lift your body. So you're going up in that direction. Well done, take the arm back out and come up. Let's switch sides. So going down, propping yourself up on your elbow if you want to, tummy muscles in, and we're gonna lift this leg up. We're gonna go forward, up, and around. Forward, up, and around. Forward, up, and around. Forward, up and round one more forward up and round well done bend those knees pushing yourself up arms out take hold of this leg and stretching over good turning your head to look up towards that elbow taking the arms out, and then we're gonna go over into our mermaid. So we have a nice extended spine, and now you're just going to bring this arm down and around, but keep your back upright. Keep it as straight as you can. Adjust those hands so they're in line with each other. Press into them, and now try and see if you can go into a little back extension. That's it. Well done, bring the arm up and out and up, excellent. Coming into a kneeling position. Okay, let's do a little tuck under, take a breath in. Exhale, pull your abdominals in, tucking under. Hold that tuck, sitting back on your feet, that's it, taking your elbows down. And now we're gonna to start to glide that body forward. Press into your hands and lift up. Again, tucking under. Hold that tuck, glide back. So feeling the stretch through the whole of your spine, elbows down. 
coming forward and pushing up and one more tucking under and rounding coming back coming back coming back good elbows down gliding forward and lifting up well done tuck your toes under lift yourself up into your up stretch reaching back so chest reaching towards the thighs this time then the left knee lower the right heel you're trying to get your chest to rest on that thigh that's the long term aim now we're going to lift both heels up and we're going to switch so bend your right knee left heel down trying to move your chest closer to that right knee lifting up once more each way and change and change both heels up lower them down walk your hands back to your feet that's it bend your knees let your head just hang now relax your arms your work is done take a deep breath in exhale draw the abdominals in slowly come up through your spine draw the shoulders back and down inhale exhale chin to your chest bend your knees rolling down good inhale exhale pull the abdominals in coming all the way up shoulders down last one deep breath in exhale chin to the chest bending your knees coming all the way down inhale exhale coming all the way up to standing shoulders down well done and that is your session for today everyone thank you so much for joining me do go ahead and press the like button please do subscribe as that really will help me and don't forget to share this with a friend a neighbor a work colleague anyone you think might appreciate joining our community okay so i'm going to be on the live chat for the next five ten minutes if you need to go have a wonderful day and i look forward to seeing you soon take care bye for now okay everyone well done i hope you enjoyed that nice little stretch today um oh it's got a little bit dark in here hasn't it let me just uh, put a little bit of light on for you uh so before i forget we are nearing the end of our june playlist our 30 days in june today was day 26 a little reminder that on friday this friday i'm going to be doing a 60 minute that's a full one hour session it's going to be the warm-up and some of the intermediate but all of the advanced section of the book so if you've got my book and you've looked at that advanced section you're thinking i'm not sure about this i don't know if i can do this then this is the session to come and see you can either join and watch or you can join in do as much as you can or you can do the whole thing if it feels good for you so that will be friday um, and then also put a note on the community page today so do go check out the post on there that we had a 62 percent vote in favor of weekly playlists in july which are shorter so my plan is to do weekly playlists for the whole of july and they are going to be between five and 20 minutes that will include our live so our live sessions will be 20 minutes but there will be some shorter ones in between. Lots of people said they're really busy in the summer. And I know from my own experience of teaching for 13 years that generally in the summer, a lot of people find other things to do and exercise takes a bit of a, a, a backward step due to holidays, family visiting, all that kind of stuff. So I thought, well, let's try a shorter one and see if that works for you guys. So that's what's happening in July. 
also to remind you that the 30-day playlist in June is not specific to June. You can do it any time at all. So I'm going to leave it up there for you. And if you decide, you know, later in the year, you feel like you need a kickstart, remember there's always that playlist to go and do. All right. So I'm going to go straight to the chat now, get some feedback, and also say uh, my thank yous to everyone who's donated already. Thank you very much. I know lots of you buy me uh, coffees on Kofi, so I really do appreciate that. Thank you very much indeed for that. Carlin Hawkran, thank you so much for your donation. Lovely to see you here, Carlin. You're always there, I know. So thank you very much for joining me today. Morning, Regina. Morning, Cheryl from Virginia. Uh, morning, Kim B. I know you're in Washington, Kim. Lovely to see you here. Good morning to you, Marlene Brown. Lots of old friends here. Uh, lovely. Oh, Marlene Brown says, oh, had my car stolen and my life turned upside down, but it's slowly returning to right side up. I'm so sorry to hear that, Marlene. I hope that you enjoyed our session today and it helped you take your mind off things because I know it can be very stressful. Um, Terry, hi to you, Terry. Lovely to see you, Terry. I know you sent me an email. I will get on to that. Sorry, it's been a bit crazy busy for me at the moment. Um, hi, Terry. Um, oh, you had a few problems with getting in today, but hopefully I can see you're on the chat. So hopefully it's all good. Uh, Sue DePinto says, miss the beginning. Never mind. I'll do this one later. Thanks, Rachel. Looks delightful and stretchy. Yes, very stretchy today. Uh, we did lots of stretches. You'll notice the order was slightly different one side to the other, but we still did everything. I hope I didn't miss anything out. Hopefully you're really feeling nice and mobile and warm in your shoulder joints, your hip joints especially. We stretched all around the ankle, the knee, the hips, the back, the spine, everything. So I'm hoping you're feeling good today, everyone. Uh, Mary Margaret Seagraves, hello to you. Lovely to see you here. Uh, really nice to have you. Hope you're having a good day so far. Carla La Bomba says, good morning, Rachel. I was so happy I was able to do the whole class. Yay. I feel great. I did three classes from the playlist before this. Oh, my goodness, Carla. You're going for it today. Well done, you. Have a great day. And you, Carla. Well done. I applaud you. That's excellent work. Uh, Mary Margaret Seagrace, thank you, Mary, very much for your donation today. That is much appreciated. Kim B. Hi, Kim. Kim says, an outstanding and challenging workout. I really felt good doing the new moves. Definitely lived up to your description. Oh, thank you, Kim. You know what, uh, Kim? It's one of those things when I'm writing everything uh, which is normally a week or two weeks or three weeks before I actually do it. I'm always trying to think of what's the best way to describe what I'm going to do. So it's really nice to hear that what I wrote matches what you did. So thank you very much indeed, because that's often the challenge with YouTube is just getting to be really accurate so people know what to expect. So thank you for that. Thank you for your lovely dog emoji. That's absolutely lovely. Uh, Cheryl from Virginia says, at the beginning, it was very challenging for my aging muscles. But how funny, if I weren't doing this live, I confess that I might not have finished it, but I did it. You see, Cheryl, this is, this is the glory, the joy of doing a live stream class, because I know that. I know that if I watch things that are recorded, I always think, oh, well, I don't need to do all that, or I can skip through, etc. But when it's live, you know that we are all doing it in real time, me included, alongside you. There's something very motivating about that, isn't it? And that's what I want. I want you to feel like, oh, I don't know about this. But now look at you. You've got to the end. You've done the whole thing. It was a challenge. Always good to be challenged, Cheryl, as you know. And, you know, I'm reading a lot about muscular strength in women over 40 and what we need to do to stay strong and not only that but to maintain strength because it can drop off very quickly so i'm hoping that you always feel a challenge 
but it's always just about doable. And that's kind of where we want to be. So I applaud you, Cheryl. Well done. Indeed, very, very good. Hello to Suzanne Palmer Riches. Hello, Suzanne. Lovely to have you here today. And uh, Suzanne says, thank you, Rachel. A great stretch and workout. You're very welcome indeed. Hello to Stephanie Langton, who says, great class. Thank you. Even my wrist manages workout. Yay. That's good to hear, Stephanie. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, Martin de Kerpel. Excuse me, everyone. I got to cough. <coughs> I always get a dry throat after I've taught and it is very, very dry in the UK as well at the moment and I'm not drinking enough water. So do excuse me if I drink water. Uh, Martin de Kerpel says, I really liked it, but do the heels also touch in the diamond shape? No, they don't have to touch Martine. So in the diamond shape, if this was your feet, it's your toes not the heels, just the toes. So you take the toes out and the toes touch. So that's what you're doing. And that's kind of working all the muscles of the inner thighs. And you're also externally rotated in the hip. So it's working your glute muscles and the little intrinsic muscles in the hip joint. So that's what we were doing that for. Let me some quick sip. Thank you, everyone. Sally Gretarex. Good morning, Sally, or good afternoon, Sally. Sally says, don't get to do Monday's Live usually, but done it today. Uh, 30 days has been only, I've only skipped a few. Thank you, Rachel. Feels good. Yes, I'm really glad to hear that, Sally. Thank you very much indeed. Marlene says, yes, it's the worst thing other than losing someone, replacing everything, paid out more for comparable car insurance, skyrocketed and I'm just living on merely a senior's pension. Oh, Marlene, I'm really sorry to hear that. Well, I hope the fact that I'm here every week and you can do these workouts for free, at least that's something you can kind of hang on to. I will be here. Hopefully you've got a laptop and you're watching on that. So really sorry to hear your news. I hope it all gets better for you soon, Marlene. Uh, Karen, good morning. Hello to you, Karen. Karen says, love that. My glutes go into spasm, though, when I do the bridge. I have lazy glutes, though, and bad circulation. So are those the reasons why I do lots of your exercises to strengthen these areas? Oh, that's really good to hear, Karen. Thank you very much. So um, your glutes go into spasm. Do you mean like cramps? Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. What it means is you're working those muscles and perhaps they're, uh, as you say, they're lazy. You, you call them lazy glutes. They're not firing as much as you would want. So when we're in a bridge position, we are forcing those glutes to have to switch on because we are pressing down with the feet. We're pressing up with the hips. That load of the weight of that lower body is all going onto your glutes. So when you're feeling the spasms happening, that's the muscles going, oh, my goodness, what's going on? So not a bad thing. And as I always say to everybody, uh, if you're not feeling any pain, then don't worry. Just keep going. And it sounds like you're doing exactly the right thing. You're doing lots of the glute work. So just remember, Karen that along with the strengthening work of the glutes to do the stretching. So today is a really good example because we did both. Remember, we were doing all the pigeon pose and the pushing the knee out to the side. We were doing the diamond shape on the legs. All of that is kind of uh, stretching the glutes. And then obviously with the bridge, you're really strengthening them as well. So well done, you. Dora G says, thank you, Rachel. One more excellent and challenging stretch. I appreciated the hip stretching. Yeah, you know what? That hip stretch, everybody, doing all the hip stretching, it really does help with the lower back as well. It's something that, you know, I'm very aware of that if I work my hips, I stretch my hips, my lower back feels less uh, tense. So I really want to encourage you all to do that. But well done indeed, Dora. Sarah Ranicles. Hi, Sarah. Sarah says, still don't like the pigeon pose. One way is easier than the other. 
Thank, thank you. Uh, we'll be doing this again. Strength is so important for mobility and long-term confidence. Indeed, Sarah, thank you very much. And well done for just doing it anyway, that pigeon pose, even though you don't like it. It's such a good one to do. And the one that we did just before, you know, the one pressing the knee out, that's a kind of modified pigeon. So you can always do that if you don't want to go into the full pigeon pose. It'll still really stretch those areas that we want to. Uh, so well done, Sarah. Denise McGrail. Hi, Denise. Lovely to have you here. Denise says, thank you for the great class. Please could you do a class for tight lower back and tight hamstrings? I will indeed. I'm going to put it down now. Uh, video for uh, tight lower back and hamstrings. And you, if you have a look uh, on the channel, uh, Denise, uh, I'm just going to make a note for Denise. You'll see that I've got quite a few lower body stretches. Um, I have um, I have one which I think is called for. Uh, tight hamstrings and lazy glutes, I believe. Um, so do go and check that one out because that that is exactly that and it will really help. But I've made a note. I'll make sure to include that in a future session. Uh, Marlene Brown says, thank you so much, Rachel. This is the stuff that keeps me going along with C Dawn of Fitness, my two favorites on YouTube. Big hugs. Thank you very much, Marlene. Uh, Sedona Solutions, hello to you. Thank you very much indeed for your donation and welcome. That's a new, that's a new name. So welcome to the channel. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today. So everyone, that's it for Monday. I will be back next week. So remember that next week it'll be July. So we're going to go into our summer sessions, as I shall be calling them, which means we'll be doing a maximum of 20 minutes. So we'll do them slightly shorter so that because on this side of the world in Europe, everyone starts to go on holiday and the kids are off school and life gets all a little bit crazy by mid-July because schedules are all up in the air. So I've decided for July to run playlists and lives, but they're all going to be 20 minutes or less. Okay, so look out for those next week. And uh, next week will be our senior session. Uh, remember that we do one uh, senior session uh, the first Monday of every month. So it is uh, the first Monday of July next month. So look out for that. All the details will be on the channel. So if you go to the channel main page, you better look across the top and you better see all the workouts that are coming up. And if you go into the playlist, you'll also better see the current playlist, all right? And I'll make sure that the July playlist will be up and live by Friday. So you're ready to start your new playlist on Saturday morning. All right, so that's all for now. Suffice to say, it's been lovely to spend time with you today. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.